Welcome to this edition of CPWN. I'm Clarence Ponsler. Today, I'm chilling inside the apartment complex on a Sunday afternoon, going on Sunday evening, and I'm dealing with the effects of Hurricane Ida. Today, the 29th of August, 2021, it made landfall in Port Fourchon, Louisiana, as a Category 4 storm of winds upwards of 150 miles per hour, and then made two hours later a second landfall nearby Galliano, Louisiana, with sustained winds of 145 miles per hour with, of course, higher gusts. Now, about a few hundred miles to the northeast of both of those locations, and I'm still dealing with the facts here in Biloxi, Mississippi, of tropical storm force winds and, of course, the heavy rainfall, upwards of about 6 to 10 inches of rain during the course of the storm. The power has stayed on, obviously, in this apartment the entire time so far. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to stay on the entire time. The lights could flicker or it could be out for a few hours to maybe even a day or so. Who knows? But I want to show you one quick thing before things get dark. Obviously, I'm watching the Weather Channel's coverage of the storm. But let's zoom in. Let's take a good look at this tree. It may be a little bit blurry. I'm going to try to refocus the camera a bit so you can really see what's going on. Occasionally, that tree would really whip in these gusts of wind that could be easy travel to a force now we're running into a wall and listen not to mention the heavy rain that's fallen too Here, I'll prop and open the door temporarily. Let's hope I don't get my apartment wet. But you can feel the wind and the rain that's fallen. And let me close this door real quick before my apartment gets wet at the entrance. So, door's closed. And as a precaution, I'm gonna lock it. But here's what it looks like. Refocus the camera a little better. There we go. One interesting thing to note too, the apartment complex is getting a makeover. Instead of tan buildings, they're becoming more teal aqua blue buildings. So in future videos from the apartment complex, you're gonna see that transition. But today is all about Hurricane Ida. And even tornado warnings have popped up during the course of the day infecting South Mississippi as well. So there you have it, feeling the effects of Hurricane Ida here in South Mississippi. It will it'll likely not be as bad, at least on the Mississippi Gulf Coast in Harrison County, compared to Zeta last October. And thanks for watching this edition of CPWN. Clarence Ponsler saying, have a great day or evening if it's nighttime and pray for those in Southeast and even Central Louisiana as well. And for those that are really gonna get impacted worse by the storm compared to myself. Goodbye.